FC Dinamo Tbilisi is a Georgian professional football team, based in Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. Dinamo Tbilisi was one of the most prominent clubs in Soviet football and a major contender in the Soviet top league almost immediately after it was established in 1936. The club was then part of one of the leading sports societies in Soviet Union, the All-Union Dynamo Sports Society which had several other divisions beside football and was sponsored by the Soviet Ministry of Internal Affairs. Its main claim to European fame was winning the Cup Winners' Cup in 1981 beating FC Karl Zeiss Gino of East Germany to a Euro 1 in the final and R1 quarter Seldorf. Throughout its history, FC Dinamo Tbilisi produced many famous Soviet players, Boris Pekades, Ave Tandil Gogobarids, Shota Iamanids, Tengiz Sulakvalids, Vitali Darasalia, Vladimir Gutsev, David Kipayani, Mikhail Meski, Ramaz Shangelia, Alexander Shivads, Slava Metrovili, Mertes Kurtzalava. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, it would later produce some of the finest Georgian players such as Temeri Ketsbaya, Korka Kalades, Shota Alvalades, Georgi Kinklads. FC Dinamo Tbilisi was one of a handful of teams in the Soviet top league that were never relegated. Their most famous coach was Nodor Orkhakatsi, who led the team to the Soviet title in 1978, two Soviet Cups and the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1981. He was also one of three co-coaches of the Soviet Union national team during the FIFA World Cup in 1982. FC Dinamo Tbilisi are also 14-time Georgian League champions and 9-time Georgian Cup holders. History, the beginning, 1920s the history of FC Dinamo Tbilisi began in autumn 1925 when the Dinamo Sports Society set out to form a football club, at a time when football was gradually becoming one of the most popular sports in the world. In 1927, FC Dinamo Tbilisi established a junior club, Norkai Dinamo Ili. The juniors club provided FC Dinamo Tbilisi with many young skillful players including the first goalkeeper who played for Dinamo in the USSR Championship, the first captain, defender, Ford and other famous players. In the early years in Georgia, no official championship existed, so the teams played friendly games against each other. The first match was played with Azerbaijan team Dinamo Baku on January 26, 1926, with the more experienced Azerbaijan squad winning 1-0. The Dinamo team starred, Deed Samaya, A. Pochkua, M. Blackman, I. Foydorov, Ananikin, A. Gunal, A. Pibovarov, O. Goldobin, A. Galperin, S. Maslinikov, V. Samaya. Three days later, Dinamo played another Azerbaijan team, Progress, and easily beat them 3 0. Despite their success in the middle years of the 1930s, the Football Federation of the Soviet Union plays FC Dinamo Tbilisi in the First League instead of the Premier League. Dinamo continued to show good form against the top teams, winning 9 Euro 5 in Tbilisi against probably the best team in the USSR Championship, Dinamo Moscow. They later beat Dinamo Leningrad 3 Euro 2, winning five matches out of six plus a draw against Stalinic Moscow. This was enough for Dinamo to qualify for the Premier League. World War II, 1930s and 1940s, the second championship started in autumn 1936. Altogether Dinamo played 1424 matches in the SU Championship. The first match was against Dinamo Kiev, finishing to a Euro 2, with goals by Nicholas Somov and Boris Pekades. The team sheet was, A. Dorokov, S. Shavgilids, B. Birds and Ishvili, Ananikin, V. Jul Bernards, G. Gagua, I. Panin, M. Birds and Ishvili, B. Pekades, M. A. Zlamazov and N. Somov. The first victory in the USSR Championship was in the match against Spartak Moscow on September 25 with Mikhail Birds and Ishvili scoring the winning goal. Dinamo finished the season in third place. They challenged for the title, but this faded after the 2 Euro 3 loss against Krasnaya Zaria Leningrad. Dinamo also played an unforgettable match in Moscow with Spartak in the SU Cup quarterfinal with Dinamo scoring three goals in stoppage time, beating Spartak 6 a Euro 3. They reached the SU Cup final, but lost 0 a Euro 2 to Lokomotiv Moscow. 
their first international match was against the Spanish team Basconia in 1937, which Dinamo lost 0 a Euro 2. In the 1930s and 1940s, Dinamo was one of the top Soviet football teams, even though they did not win a title. They were often referred to as the crownless champions with the team including, S. Shavgilids, A. Dorokov, S. Shudra, B. Frolov, M. Birdzanishvili, A. Kanads, V. Panjukov, V. Burzhnoi, G. Gagua, V. Jorbanads, G. Jejleva, 1950s. In the 1950s, the team was led by Ave Tandil Gagobaridz who spent 14 years with Dynamo. He still holds the record for games played and goals scored for Dynamo, with 341 matches and 127 goals. In the same period, the following players start for Dynamo, G. Antads, V. Margania, N. Zipshipa, M. Minaev, A. Zazv, V. Elishvili, H. Q. Aisley. A prominent place in Dynamo history belongs to Andro Tsordania, a coach who is considered as one most important figures in the club's history. His period in charge at the end of the 1950s was seen as the renaissance of Dynamo's traditions, which laid the ground for the major successes connected with his name. FC Dynamo's Digami practice ground is named after this club legend. First Soviet successes, 1960s. The first major success came in 1964 Soviet Top League when Dynamo won the Soviet Top League, with the team unbeaten in the last 15 matches. At the end, Dynamo was tied with Torpedo Moscow so the teams played an additional match in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, which Dynamo won for a Euro 1. Georgian supporters celebrated the victory by naming their team Golden Guys. A popular French magazine France Football wrote, Dynamo has great players. Their technique, skills and playing intellect enables us to name them the best Eastern representatives of South American football traditions, if Dynamo were able to participate in the UEFA European Cup, we are certain, they would bring the hegemony of Spanish-Italian teams to an end. However, no Soviet team appeared in the European Cup at that time. The lineup of winning team in 1964 was, Sergo Kotrikades, Georgi Sikinava, Goram Petriashvili, Jemal Zinklishvili, Goram Tskhavubov, Vladimir Rakhvayashvili, Shota Yamanids, Slava Metrovili, Vladimir Barkir, Mikhail Meskhi, Ilya Datunashvili, Alexander Apshev. Coach, Gavriel Kachalin. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the quality of the Dynamo team was further enhanced by several skillful players, the legendary Mikhail Meskhi, the inimitable Slava Metrovili, the captain of Soviet Union national team Mirkis Kurtzilava, Revaz Zodzwashvili, Kaki Satyani, Gosha Gavashili, Goram Petriashvili, Piroz Kantelids and the brothers Nodia. European years, 1970s, Dynamo's first appearance in Europe was in 1972 against the Dutch team Twentinshid in the UEFA Cup. Dynamo won three a Euro 2, with two goals by Givi Nodia and one by David Kipayani. The following players appeared on the field in this historic match, D. Goja, Adzodz Washvili, V. Lids, M. Kurtzilava, S. Kinchagashvili, G. Petriashvili, M. Mikades, K. Satyani, V. Gutsov, L. Nodia, G. Nodia, D. Kapayani. In 1973, Dynamo won their first international tournament. After beating Athletic Madrid and Benfica, one of the best teams of the time, Dynamo won the Columbus's Karevla Trophy. In 1976, Nodorog Harkatsi was appointed as Dynamo's head coach. It was under his leadership that the team achieved their greatest success with Dynamo. The club was referred to as the great team between 1976 and Euro 1982, characterized by a mobile, fast and technical style of play. In this period, Dynamo won the Soviet Cup title in 1976, defeating Ararat Erevan 3 a Euro 0 with goals scored by David Kipayani, Piroz Kantelids and Revaz Chelbarts. The team achieved the same success in 1979 when they beat Dynamo Moscow 5 a Euro 4 on penalties. They also won the Soviet top league for a second time in 1978. In 1979, the club played its first match in the UEFA European Cup tournament, defeated Liverpool FC but were eliminated by Hamburger SV in the next round. Last Soviet Days, 1980s 
The highlight of Dynamo's history was May 13, 1981 when they beat FC Carl Zeiss Gina in the Cup Winners' Cup final game 2-1 in Dar one quarter Seldorf and brought the precious prize to Tbilisi. It was a celebration not only for the team, but for whole Georgia as well. In the final goals were scored by Vitaly Darasalia and Vladimir Gutsov. Helmut Shaparagraf N, FIFA World Cup 1974 winner coach said, It is to be said directly, Dynamo deserved the victory. This team has top quality performers. In 1982 Dynamo qualified to semi-final and cup winners cup tournament. In the 1980s numerous skillful players appeared in the team, but for various reasons they were not able to do their best, Grigal Zalva, Michael Meskhi, Otar Korflitz, Gia Guruli, Mamuka Pantsolaya, Merib Tsordania, Levin Baratashvili and many other talented players. From 1983 a crisis began. It was hard for the club to qualify from the first rounds of the Soviet Cup. They also performed poorly in the championship. From 1983 to 1989 the team appeared only once in the UEFA tournaments. Dynamo Tbilisi played its last game in the Soviet top league on October 27, 1989 against Dynamo Kiev. Dynamo played its first and last official matches in Soviet Union Championship with Dynamo Kiev, with both matches ending 2-2. 1990s, in 1990 the Georgian Football Federation refused to participate in the Soviet Union Championship. That meant that no Georgian football clubs would appear in Soviet tournaments. From that moment the more recent history of FC Dynamo Tbilisi began. The club played its first match in the Georgian National Championship against Kokiti Poti on March 30, 1990. Dynamo lost the historic match, 0-1. Ultimately the club recovered from this setback and won the first Georgian National Championship. The club also won the next nine championships. In 1993 came Dynamo's first double, the team won league and Georgian Cup. In 1993 Dynamo played its first international official match representing independent Georgia. Dynamo won the home match against Linfield FC. 2-1, with goals from Shota Alvelades and Gilo Inalishvili. The second leg in Belfast ended 1-1. However it was subsequently alleged that the club had tried to bribe match officials and the club was expelled from the tournament and suspended for two years from UEFA tournaments. FC Dynamo Tbilisi continued to win Georgian Championships and Georgian Cup, but had no success in European club tournaments. In 1996 Dynamo qualified past three rounds in the UEFA Cup. They beat CS Graven Matcha 4-0 a Euro 2-2, Molda FK 2-1 a Euro 0-0 and Torpedo Moscow 1-0 a Euro 1-1. In the next round the club was unable to overcome Portuguese side Boa Vista FC and left the tournament. This was the best result in Dinamo Tbilisi's history. Later, the migration of the key players to Western European clubs caused negative results. It became harder and harder for the club to win the Georgian Championship or Georgian Cup. In the early years of the 2000s, the famous businessman Badri Patak Atsishvili purchased FC Dinamo Tbilisi. In 2003 the club won the Georgian Championship and Georgian Cup. In 2004 Dynamo won the cup again and under the leadership of Croat coach Ivo Suzak, and won the CIS Cup in Moscow against Latvian Skonto FC. In the same year, Dynamo successfully made it through the UEFA Cup qualifying rounds, after defeating FC Bait Borisov, SK Slavia Prague and Wyla Kreka Cube W, so qualifying for the group stage where their opponents' team were Newcastle United FC, Sporting Clube de Portugal, FC Socor and Paninios FC. But Dinamo lost to all four teams. In the following season Dinamo were again Georgian champions and they won the Georgian Championship again in 2008, when the head coach of Dinamo was the Czech Duza Nurin. 2000s, in 2009 the club beat FC Olympi Rostavi and won the Georgian Cup. In January 2011, FC Dynamo Tbilisi was purchased by a businessman called Roman Pipia. That year, the club successfully played in the UEFA Europa League qualifying rounds, but unfortunately were not able to overcome AEK Athens FC. In the playoff round, 
After a bad performance in the Georgian Championship of 2011 to 2012, Dynamo could not qualify for any UEFA competitions for the 2012-13 season. The new president of FC Dynamo Tbilisi immediately started the modernization of the club, starting with the reconstruction of the Digami training ground. After the reconstruction, the training ground will be one of the best in the region. The Dynamo Arena was reconstructed as well. The pitch surface was changed with a new specially adapted surface for the local climate. The reconstruction work is still in progress, and after it ends, the Dynamo Arena will become the sports center of the capital. Soon the newly renovated Youth Academy will start functioning. The club were beaten 5-0 by Tottenham Hotspur in the Europa League playoff round first leg on August 22, 2013, and again 3-0 the following week at White Hart Lane, thus crashing out 8-0 on aggregate. Honours, Europe competitions, UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, 1981, domestic competitions, Georgian U Maglasi Liga, 1 1990, 1991, 1992. 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, 2003, 2005, 2008, 2013, 2014, 2004, 2006, 2007, 2009, 2010, 2011, 3 2000, 2001, 2002, Georgian Cup. 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 2003, 2004, 2009, 2013, 2014, 1998, 2010, Georgian Super Cup, 1996, 1997, 1999, 2005, 2008, 1998, 2009, 2013, a degree international competitions, Commonwealth of Independent States Cup, 2004, 1995, Soviet time competitions, Soviet Top League, 1 1964, 1978, 2 1939, 1940, 1951, 1953, 1977, 3 1936, Autumn, 1946, 1947, 1950, 1959, 1962, 1967, 1969, 1971, 1972, 1976, Spring, 1976, Autumn, 1981, Soviet First League, 1 1936, Soviet Cup, 1976, 1979, 1936, 1937, 1946, 1960. 1970, 1980, Progress Cup, 1984, Stadium. The Dynamo Stadium was completed in 1976, after 10 years of construction. A large group of architects, under the supervision of famous Georgian specialist Gia Kurdiani, worked on the project. Before that, in place of the new Dynamo Stadium, there was a smaller stadium with a maximum capacity of 35,000. The demand for a new and bigger stadium had increased due to the successful performance of Dynamo Tbilisi. This was the communist time, when every problem had to be solved by the USS a supreme government body. The leader and the first secretary of Georgian Communist Party Duard Shevardnadze was able to persuade official Moscow, that Georgia needed bigger and better stadium for home matches. By the time stadium was built, it took the third place with its capacity in Soviet Union. It could fit 78,000 supporters and fulfill every standards and requirements of Soviet Football Federation as well as UEFA. The first official match played after stadium was built occurred on September 29, 1976. This was UEFA Cup Winners Cup 1-16 final match between Dynamo Tbilisi and Cardiff City, Wales. The opening game ended successfully for Dynamo, score 3-0. Even though stadium's maximum capacity was 78,000, Georgian football fans can remember matches with more accommodation. For instance, in 1979 Dynamo was hosting one of the best British teams a Euro Liverpool. The first round was played in England with a score 2-1 Liverpool 1. 
so the pressure was high on the second game. Stadium was attended by 110,000 people and their support played important role in winning. Dynamo beat Liverpool 3-0 and qualified in January 8th final. In Soviet Union Dynamo Stadium is record keeper of the average attendance of 45,000. The record attendance was repeated in 1995 for Georgia vs Germany. The football clubs Spartak Moscow and Dynamo Kiev often played their autumn international matches in the stadium. Hundreds of Georgian, Russian, European and even South American stars played in Tbilisi Dynamo Stadium. In 1985 the stadium hosted the qualifying stage of the Juniors World Cup. Tafal and Muller played for the Brazilian national team. In 1995 the stadium was renamed Boris Paykade's National Stadium after a major Georgian international footballer. The national stadium was the home base of the Georgian national team for several years. Georgians played unforgettable matches against Wales 5-0 and Poland 3-0. Holding lit torches, 80,000 fans came in 1981 to congratulate the team on their European Cup Winners' Cup triumph. As an architectural building the National Stadium is estimated as one of the best in Georgia. Nearly all of the seats in second circle are covered. In official games under UEFA regulations the stadium can fit only 22,000 supporters on individual seats. Because of that reason sport organization Dynamo is reconstructing Dynamo Stadium. The reconstruction of the stadium is completed and it fulfills all the standards of UEFA and FIFA, it now can fit 78,000 football fans. At the moment stadium changed named to Dynamo Arena, sponsor, Adidas, current squad. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Eurocups record, European record, UEFA club rankings, as of July 25, 2013, top scorers by season, notable managers, notable past players, USSR era players listed have at least one cap for the USSR national football team. References Bird Cassis. UEFA Team Ranking 2014 Inches. Cassisa Home XS4 All NL. Retrieved July 27, 2013. A, external links. Official website, Dynamo Fans Official Website, http, wilds.com 7001 Geo Dynamo Tbilisi, http, wilds.com 7001 URS Dynamo Tbilisi.